What's up guys, Controversy here. So it looks like we're finally going to be getting some information here soon regarding some rank changes that we can expect. I don't know about you guys, but ranked has been really chalked for me lately. It's been the matchmaking just been out of control. Just getting unfair matchups, players who don't really care about it or know what they're doing. So finally, it looks like maybe some of that will be addressed. I know one thing that a lot of players have been asking for is to just simply go back to the Overwatch 1 system. Let's just go back to SR. It was simple. People enjoyed it. It didn't really have that many issues. People weren't complaining about it and etc. Well, it looks like even if that is the case, we will not be going back to the Overwatch 1 system. The Overwatch 2 system is here to stay and they just want to make improvements on it to make it better. On Twitter, when asked, can we get a response to why the Overwatch 2 ranking system isn't being changed back to the Overwatch 1 SR system? The whole 7 wins, 20 losses system and matchmaking feels unrewarding to me and many other players. I appreciate the communication, but I would like to know why we don't get the old system back. And again, this just kind of goes back to what I was talking about. The 7 wins is 20 losses. You never really know how you're doing. Plus, your rank doesn't even update until then. So like, let's say you're doing good for 5 or 6 games in a row. And maybe you would have ranked up by then. And you would have been in a completely different division. So you would have gone from maybe plat to diamond. You're stuck in the plat division, potentially even getting some gold and silver teammates. And now because of that, you go on these massive loss streaks because we know they're trying to force these 50% win rates. And I know you guys have all felt it when you're either you know, silver one, gold one, plat one, whatever, and you're on a hot streak, you feel like you're gonna rank up and you get to that six win and you literally just need one more win and you just go on tilt, you go on a massive loss streak. It always happens, it seems to always happen to me and I notice it happens to other players too. And I'm hoping that with this change that that will be a thing of the past. But in response, executive producer Jared Nia stated, changes are coming, we're sharing details in a blog very soon, but we aren't planning to revert to the Overwatch 1 model. The new system has good goals, but the implementation needs work and has to be adapted based on player feedback like yours. That's what we'll be talking about. So to summarize, the Overwatch 1 system is gone. It's a thing of the past. It's a relic. It's not ever going to come back. In return, they're trying to learn this new system. It looks like we're all trying to learn it. Even the devs are, the players are. We all want to know how it works. I think one thing that would help though is if they would at least tell us how it works that way we could kind of you know present suggestions to them if since we know it works this way maybe this is something that you could change i understand that ranking systems being too transparent can lead to exploitation um, but we also have to recognize that being not transparent at all can also lead to very unhappy ranked experiences for instance check out this TikTok that went viral recently all right at one point he put did you all right i was plat five i i cannot fathom I, I go up. No shit! <laughs> this guy went 7 and 16. He was wholeheartedly, fully expecting to derank. He did not believe that there was even a possibility that he would rank up. Not only did he rank up, he ranked up twice. Like, just look at his reaction. Even he can't believe that he ranked up. I've had cards where I've gone 7-0 and ranked up twice, and I've had cards where I won't go 7-4 or 7-3 and don't rank up at all. I've also had a card where I got 7-5 and deranked. And I already know that you're wanting to type in the comments, it's based on performance. My performance is good. My performance is above average. In the games that we win, I'm not getting carried. So I don't really understand how it possibly knows where to rank someone up, when to rank someone up, when it's inconsistent on when it ranks someone's up in the first place. So first things first, I just want some transparency. I just really need to know how the system works. Every rank game I've ever played, I've kind of knew how the system works. I could even explain how it worked to someone else. I can't say that I can do that with Overwatch currently. The next thing that I'm hoping for is some matchmaking changes. This matchmaking is god awful. It is so bad where I'm getting teammates that genuinely don't know how to play the game. In one of my plat games, I had someone on my team who was not placed in the role he was playing in and was only placed in one role and that was support. And in that role, he was placed bronze five. This DPS player who has only played one other role and that was support that was ranked bronze five somehow ended up in my game while trying to do his placements. Not only that, he was duoed with a tank and the tank was the same thing. 
he had not been placed and he wasn't performing very well in the other role that he was placed in and we lost i mean you just can't win without a tank now and, and that's kind of maybe one of the biggest issues with ranked but it looks like the one tank role is kind of here to stay and this is just kind of something we got to get used to but i do think that if it's going to stay not only do the heroes need to be balanced that way that we can handle them better in other roles we also need to have a more fair matchmaking that way the tank is not getting entirely diffed the tank needs to be the role that no matter what those two tanks need to be even they just have to be because in this current meta it is incredibly difficult to win with only one tank if they decide to randomly go back to 6v6 or maybe implement 6v6 and see how people like it then that'll be a different story but what we have right now is 5v5 and with only one tank if the tank gets diffed the game is just over and the last change that i want is i'd like the visual rank to actually kind of mean something realistically the visual rank does have some merit to it but at the end of the day your matchmaking is designed off of your mmr and your mmr is never going to be the same as your visual rank what i think they should do is find something that is a happy middle ground between getting a representation of your visual rank and your MMR and combining that into a total of whatever arbitrary word they want to use. And then at that point, make matches off of that. Getting matchmaking that is two ranks down makes this really difficult for a lot of players to rank up. Um, and they kind of feel like their games are being thrown. And I think that if they made it so where it was only plus or minus one rank, it would be a lot healthier. But overall, let me know what you guys think about these up and coming rank changes and what rank changes that you guys hope happen whenever we do get this blog update. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on it. And if you want to come back to see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.